Okay, in this video out of recording, I want to talk about the Anunnaki for a little bit. The Anunnaki, the ancient Sumerians, that's a whole nother reality existence story of creation and whatnot. I don't know how old it is. Is it older than the Bible? I don't know. But yeah, these entities basically came from heaven to earth, all right? And I don't think they were supposed to leave the heavens or whatever. They're a boat. I think the prophet Enoch, in his angelic state, he recorded some of these entities who are known as Hades, death, and basically demons, and that type of stuff, according to the scriptures. But I think uh, the Sumerian text, the Anunnaki, that probably transcends what you read about in the Bible. Maybe the scripture is just a condensed version of the Sumerian uh, tales. I don't know. I haven't done much, much research on it, but I have listened to a few snippets here and there. I'm, I'm guessing that maybe perhaps religion is a way to keep us distracted by these entities. But either way, they're bound by the things and creeds that they have tied themselves to, okay? Because they made blood oaths and whatnot. So yeah, these entities basically are pretending to be good cop, bad cop in these end times. I think they returned here at, at a point in time where most thought the world was going to end. I think it was, what was it? The, uh, the Mayan calendar date, that, that type of st stuff that was going on back in 2012. Uh, December something, 2012. I don't even know. But yeah, they've been here for a couple of years now. And basically you're dealing with archons, powers, principalities that transcend different realities, dimensions, existence within existence itself. And they go by different names, Anu, Enlil, this, that, and the other. So, yeah, they, they create different fronts and stuff like that to keep you uh, distracted, guessing, and all that stuff. But lately, the, the, the information has been popping out to, in order to help humanity and stuff with these entities that are here on earth, believe it or not. Some of them are here on earth, they're in spirit form. Uh, some say that they're out in the universe somewhere, that they can't get past that. Maybe they can't, I don't know. I don't know how high they are now in these end times, but I do know they roam the universe and they're here on earth as well. They got high level magic technology, they can manipulate things and whatnot. Okay. So anyways, yeah, these things are out here and yeah, they're, they're targeting certain humans that are a potential threat to their existence, their dominion, their empire, and all that stuff. So basically what you got is all the existences and realities that these entities have created within existence itself whether in mythology, whether true or not, whether in cartoons, movies, everything that they thrown out there is what is taking place and being dissolved at this point in time, right? And they're just creations that the prime creator uh, created and gifted. And they're watching humanity rise and they don't want that. It, it, it worries them because a lot of them have an unjust balance and they figure that if humanity gets high enough that they're going to be under humanity or the price is going to be high that they're going to have to pay and you know if the scriptures are true if there's any indication that the ancient writings are true then perhaps what the writings say is true that you can show favor to to the wicked they're not going to change they're not going to learn righteousness you know like it says you know an ethiopian cannot change the color of his skin a kushite and a leopard cannot change her spots. So it all traces back to the scriptures, okay? And they want to dis distance us from our prime creator, okay? And the key to the prime creator is Savior number 12, who is love, some say, okay? Love vibration, more than that, is love for doing what's right. If you love him, keep his commandments, right? That is what love is, according to the scriptures. The fruit of the Spirit is love, which is more than just a feeling. It's behaving yourself. A lot of these entities cannot behave themselves, all right? So that's what, what you're dealing with in these end times, okay? 
they were here long ago during the times of the Greek uh, pantheon of gods and goddesses, the Greek Roman gods. They're here again, and they're conducting the end times tribulation uh, subtly, and who knows, maybe it might manifest into a reality. We don't know. But they're doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes that they think just because we're not seeing it that we don't perceive that it's going on. It's all there. They just want to lull you to sleep and make you think that everything is fine. They're trying to steal people's blessings and spirituality and rape them from their conscious and mind and thoughts. Um, it all goes back to the ancient writings, okay? You could skip past the Sumerian tablets, the Emerald tablets of this, that, and the other. It's all condensed in the scriptures, but you got to go outside the canon Bible, read the Apocrypha, read the extra biblical pseudepigraphal text, so you can understand who these entities are. And, you know, once you identify them, then you know who's who, what's what, and what they're doing, what they're about, what their abilities are, what their weaknesses are. And it's all there, okay? Once you go outside of the scriptures, the basic standard, you're going to need to do that. Then you could bring whatever you gather from outside sources and tie it back to the canyon, okay? So anyways, I'm not going to make this too long. Yeah, the Anunnaki, it's just a different story of basically good and evil, all right? It goes back who knows how many hundreds of years, all right? Maybe it's just a different uh, story, cover-up story for the things you read about in Scripture. Or maybe it's just a separate reality. And, you know, it's just so, mu so much stuff going on. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's hard to keep up. But anyways, yeah. Uh, continuing the faith, okay? Continuing the faith. Prime Creator gave us a key that will bypass all these entities and the traps, all right? And yeah, just going to have to um, stick with it and see what happens. Um, yeah, they have an agenda for sure. I think they're trying to avoid fulfilling the agenda. Because I believe they think that would exempt them from judgment. I don't think so. Seems to me like they're just, you know, grasping at straws. But anyways, continuing the faith. All right. A little bit of faith. Even if it's the size of a mustard seed, don't lose hope. And yeah, fight the good fight until all this thing that you're experiencing as a whole comes to an end. All right, until next time, peace.